Hi, I'm David Greenaway and uh, Lisa very kindly asked me what my thoughts are uh, around sort of burnout and how to avoid it and actually I've suffered this myself five years or so ago now and understand how very crippling it can be and how long it takes to, to recover and as well as the, the, the great regular advice that we often see is sort of exercise and diet um, the turning point for me was when I really understood and realized it was a lot about how I treat myself and think about myself and that I'm the only one who can actually heal myself and I started to see that I didn't treat myself actually that well at all and certainly not as well as I treat other people and we all care and look after lots of other people and we know we we listen to them we, we give them a break we're kind we're we're forgiving nurturing and understanding and when it comes to us as individuals we just don't seem to do it maybe you've been criticizing yourself for years and it's not been working well you know like try approving of yourself and be interested to see what actually happens and that's what i started to do so how to avoid burnout these are just my three tips that I've, i found have worked for me so here we go i'll try number one is practicing mindfulness and it's not about trying to stop scattered or um, negative thoughts it's actually more about recognizing them and accepting them as a perfectly normal and natural part of life and being sort of fully present in your mind and your body and listening to what you are telling yourself you know because after all you do know yourself better than anyone else knows you and this sort of self-compassion exercise helps you accept your thoughts and feelings without uh, assigning any judgment and makes a big difference in stopping burnout and it certainly helped me a lot two i think this is quite a large one is being able to and willing to to forgive yourself um and you know that perfection really is a myth and i think the faster that, that sinks in for anyone as it did with me that the, the quicker we can recover from mistakes and failures along the way and if you've set a goal but you've fallen off track of that goal just take a moment and accept it it's okay it's all right to stumble forgive yourself let yourself off and just replan take the next step, set of actions to just get back on track and go again it, it's actually the trick almost is to sort of shift your perspective and not judging yourself for the number of times that you've fallen or made mistakes but rather celebrating each time you practice self-compassion by forgiving yourself and just standing back up brushing yourself off going again and number three for me would be actually giving yourself a break and i don't mean a metaphorical break i mean an actual break um you know it's like sort of driving a car without any petrol in a tank it just doesn't work you can't do it and it's the same when you burn out your body and mind just don't function the way you need them to and they certainly didn't for me i had three to five months of it just couldn't barely function it was really hard and the self-compassion will just give you the permission to take the breaks that you need every day and it doesn't have to be a, a week-long holiday anyway it can be just a, a night to yourself or a simple walk in the park every day but these brief moments of self-compassion teach you that that these breaks are necessary to your your well-being and subsequently then obviously avoiding burnout and as with any new habits it only works if you put into practice every day consistently you have to do it over and over and i found that when i practiced everything that i've talked about every day it got easier and easier to recover from mistakes to let myself off forgive myself for my shortcomings um, and for things that I'm making mistakes on, that the failures, because the, the truth is the only way to success is through failures and mistakes, falling down and getting back up again. And I believe we can do it without um, the, the burnout. And it is a very, very real thing. You know, and after all, let's face it, we all are just humans and it is just a part of life's rich tapestry. I hope that helps a little bit. And um, thank you, Lisa, for inviting me to say these few words and um, if anybody wants to talk to me more about this I would absolutely love to. Many thanks.